Let's draw baby Donatello. This is the baby Ninja Turtle from the movie Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. And we just start out with this oval shape, kind of like a sideways egg. We're going to draw in his eye over here, which is also pretty long. Draw in the pupil and then come over here. We'll draw in this eye and the pupil kind of looking off to the side. It's just kind of a goofy wonky Donatello. And then we're gonna sketch in the glasses which are straight line shapes. Goes across. Make sure the glasses don't touch the eyes. You don't want that to happen because that'll create a tangent. We'll draw this glass coming over here. Goes out past the face, down and under the eye. Actually, I'm gonna just bring this in a little bit. His eyes shouldn't be this wide apart. That's a little better. So you can see here, this is an eye shape. Then you'd imagine an eye in the middle. That's about how far apart they should be. We're gonna draw his cheek coming out a little bit down here. And then I'm just gonna erase this so we can see this better. The cheek kind of connects to the mouth. It just swoops under like this. And then it kind of curves up to a goofy little smile. And then he just has one little tooth coming out here. Then his cheek comes down and his chin goes right underneath the tooth, very close to the tooth. Oh right, the glass is up here. Before we go on, we'll just connect it here. His body's basically about two and a half heads tall. Imagine that the ground is over here. We're gonna draw a straight line coming down from his neck. That'll just help us divide the left from the right side. And then we're gonna draw the front side of his shell coming out from just about the edge of his cheek, just inside a little bit. And it curves down to a point down here. So it's almost shaped like a diamond. Then it curves up in the exact same way, comes up to the cheek. And then we'll draw the feet so the leg comes down to the ground and we'll draw same line over here coming down and then we're going to draw a line coming out just a little bit diagonally and then where it ends here we'll draw a horizontal line and we're going to turn this line into a rectangle and then draw a diagonal line connecting this rectangle back to the leg and then just imagine where the center part of this rectangle would be divide it right there vertical line and then draw diagonal line there and there you go there's his toes and then come over here we're just gonna sketch in the same concept of this uh, diagonal line comes out and then we're gonna turn a rectangle shape here then a line coming down about to here and a diagonal line connecting it back to the leg connecting the toes to the leg and then we're going to draw a vertical line here to make the toes and a diagonal line there so now we're going to come up here and draw in the shoulder that's going to turn into the arm coming down here arm goes about to here to about to where you'd imagine the knee is about here it's about to where the arm will go I'll draw kind of a rectangle type shape for the finger then it curves and it's gonna go over the leg a little bit so the thumb goes just over the leg so the hand is in front of the leg then come back over to the back part of this finger we're just gonna draw the second finger 
behind it just a little bit. You barely see it. And we'll come over to this side, draw in the shoulder underneath the cheek, and it's gonna swoop down, and it's gonna swoop in a little bit, and the thumb is gonna go even more over the front. So this thumb is gonna go over the belly. And we're gonna have it swoop down. And we're just sketching this out. This isn't the clean line work. This is just to get the proportions and the shapes in. Draw another rectangle finger here. And I'm kind of looking back and forth to make sure that these, the sizes of these hands are, are roughly consistent. This hand's kind of at an angle, so it's gonna look a little different. But I just wanna make sure one hand isn't way bigger or way smaller than the other. Same thing with the legs. So I'm noticing this one's a little bit thicker than this one, so I'm gonna bring this leg out just a tiny, tiny bit. Doesn't need to be perfect, but just a little bit. All right, now we're on the belly part. This is also called the plastron. If you know anything about turtles, the front of the shell is called the plastron. The back of the shell is called the carap carapace. We're actually, now that I'm talking about that, just come back to the shoulder. And I'm just going to draw the back of the shell here so we can just see it a little bit. And now, come to the front of the shell. And the shell is basically divided in thirds. So we'll draw a line going across here. And then another line going across here. And then right on this line right here, where the vertical line here and the horizontal intersect, we're gonna draw a circle. And this circle is where Donatello is gonna have his initial on his belt. And then we're going to draw a vertical or a horizontal line coming across here. And just imagine this line we already drew that's the midpoint so so that's one half and this is the second half I'll draw another line down here and we'll just imagine this line going through do the same thing on this left side I'm going to draw the belt coming out just a little bit so it makes it look like the belt has a little bit of depth so if we have the belt look like it's kind of wrapping around his waist we can show that by having the belt come forward just a little bit past this line here so that gives it just a little tiny bit more of a 3d feel all right now i'm going to do the finished line work on a separate layer and then color it on its own layer and add some scratch marks to the shell and also do just a little bit of highlights and shading to make it pop a little bit. You can color this with Copic markers or Prismacolors if you drew it physically, or just leave it black and white. And if you drew this with a pencil, always remember to start out sketching lightly. That way when you go over it again with your line work, with your pen or marker, or whatever you draw with, you can uh, easily sketch away the pencil marks. More Ninja Turtle drawing videos on the way. This channel is all about drawing easy, beginner friendly stuff. It's for kids and beginners. And some of the videos are like for babies practically. Some of the ones I did for penguins and uh, some other easy animals I'm working on. So it's going to be range for skill levels from like super, super beginner to beginner, regular beginner. And maybe I'll do a couple more slightly more advanced tutorials in the future, but mostly just keeping this channel very, very beginner friendly. Thanks a lot for watching.